Okay, I wanted to jump on. I haven't made a video in a long time. Surprise, surprise. I do this all the time. It's part of my stupid ideas. I'm like, oh, I'm going to vlog, I'm going to vlog, I'm going to vlog, but I never do. <laughs> I do maybe three or four times and forget. Anyway, it's been probably eight months since I last vlogged, but whatever. Who's counting? Anyway, um, I wanted to make this video because something has changed. I... Lately, well, I guess this goes back uh, at least two years, maybe more, but I don't remember. Anyway, um, I would lay down in the bed at night and try to sleep, and my legs would have uh, like little spasms. Excuse me, I moved the camera. Uh, little spasms, and uh, it would keep me up at night. And I didn't know what it was, and I just, you know, they, they didn't do it a lot at that time. And then it just progressively got worse and worse. And um, I had back problems. I've had back problems since I was 16, so I've had them for a long time. And so I thought, I don't know, somehow the back problems went along with the weird leg, you know, twitches or whatever. And then um, I haven't had a problem with my back in a, a, you know, in a while. Occasionally it'll hurt, but it's, it's just not a big deal anymore. So anyway... Um, uh, as it progressed, it just got worse and worse, and I started falling, um, just out of the blue or almost falling. I'd catch myself, but everybody thought I was going to fall. Um, I've fallen a few times and have gotten a few bruises, and one particular time I, I got out of bed and I was trying to get my daughter ready for school, and I, I just, boom, busted. I fell, and it scared me, and, um... At that time, the, the leg spasms were, were pretty bad, and they would keep me up, and I didn't get very good sleep. So anyway, I decided to go to the doctor that day, and I was very scared because I didn't know what was going on. And, you know, your mind races, and you think of the worst things. But anyway, the doctor told me she didn't know what was wrong, so she told me to go to a neurologist, which I did. And he told me he wasn't sure, so he did an EEG. And so he had somebody come to the house and put these like electrodes all over my head and I had to stay, uh, it had to be on my head for like uh, three days and they set a camera up in my bedroom to kind of monitor me sleep because that's the only time I had um, the leg spasms. So anyway, uh, he monitored me, monitored me for three days and didn't see anything and he said, well, that doesn't mean anything. It just means we just didn't catch it. And so, um, oh yeah, and I, before I got the EEG, I got an MRI, and he said that was fine. So we were just wondering, we're like, what the heck? Oh well, it's this mystery thing, and it's just gotten worse and worse. And um, so, was it yesterday? The day before yesterday, Will and I went to see a movie, and um, so it was kind of late at night. It was nine o'clock at night, and. Um, in the middle of the movie, I just, my body started having spasms. And I thought, well, you know, it's just, you know, little, it's fine. I'll, I'll be fine. I can deal with a little spasm. It just got worse and worse and worse. And it got so bad that I couldn't sit there without spasming. So it looked like I was having a seizure. My whole body jerked and jerked and jerked. And I was weak. So I kind of tried to slip out of my seat because... I didn't want to um, walk in the aisle and uh, make everybody get up. So I kind of crawled under. There was a, a table there and, I, you know, like a diner, uh, what's it, movie and dinner kind of thing. Anyway, so I crawled underneath the table, falling, just falling, falling. Will followed behind me and I couldn't, I couldn't walk. He was trying to help me walk and I was holding under the rail and I just fell I fell, I fell like three or four times. And at one point, I just had to lay on the floor. And my body just kept like having little seizure kind of things. And gave me a headache. And my body, my heart was pounding like crazy. I was so embarrassed, but there was nothing that I could have done. I couldn't get up. So eventually, you know, maybe, well, it seemed like it was 30 or 40 minutes. I know it wasn't, but it, it was a long time. And so uh, the manager of the movie theater got a chair for me. And I sat in the chair, and they um, 
were asking me, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, fine. There's nothing you can do. It, you know, it's, I'm fine. So the lady let us use the chair to wheel me to the car, kind of like a, you know, wheelchair or whatever. Um, it was just an office chair, whatever. Um, so we got into the car and you know, my body was fine, but it really, really scared me. And I was like, I, we probably should go to the hospital. So we went home to check on the kids and told them what was up. And so we went to the hospital and I felt really embarrassed because I was fine, but I just, I didn't know what caused this. And so it scared me and I thought, well, it's probably going to happen again. And it did a little bit, not nearly as bad as it had a couple, you know, hours before or an hour before. So anyway, we went to the doctor, the hospital and the doctor came in and he took my blood, which, okay. The doctor didn't take the blood. The nurse did. That's a whole other fiasco. Let me just do a side note real quick. She was an intern or something. I don't know. She didn't say she was, but I know because of what she did in my arm. So anyway, she's going to put an IV in my arm so they can get blood out and they can put fluids in or if they need it. So she puts the IV in my arm. And of course, I'm going like this or like this not to look because I faint when I see my blood. 99% of the time I faint. And I did not want to faint while she was putting this needle in my arm. I just, I didn't know. Cause I like have like little spa seizure spasms or whatever when I faint. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So I wasn't looking, I was going like this and I was looking at the other nurse and, um, she got it in and she left. And so did the other nurse. I don't know what happened to the light. Anyway. And, um, what was, I was like, man, that hurt. And he said, what do you think about, you know, what just happened? And I was like, I think that lady was new or something. And will tell me that because I felt her, she kept wiping my arm, and I thought, well, you know, a little bit of blood came out. No, a lot of blood came out, just poured out of my arm and pulled into a puddle about that big on the bed, and it got on my jeans, and I was like, oh, my God. Will took pictures. Uh, it was very weird. Anyway, so they took my blood, they tested it, and uh, they came back, and the doctor said, well, your calcium level is little low. And um, I had told them previously I'd gone to my regular doctor for a regular checkup. And they did a blood test, just normal, which you always get. And uh, my potassium level was low. And she told me to, you know, eat more potassium enriched foods, whatever, whatever, come back in a month. So I, I did. And the test came back that I was low on potassium. So anyways, I told the doctor this and he said, yeah, when you're low on potassium and you're low on calcium, you are tired all the time, which I am always tired. You uh, have weakness of, of muscles. And so that explains why I fall or almost fall. And um, your body will have spasms. And so finally, after, you know, months of trying to figure out what the heck was going on. I finally kind of am in the zone or whatever. I'm looking for things, uh, for people that are low on calcium and there's, you know, uh, weird thyroid things that cause low calcium levels and whatever, whatever. But now I'm, I am kind of on that right track and I kind of know what I need to do to kind of prevent, uh, the, spasms at night and last night was really really bad my it was like one of the worst spasms i ever had it, it was like the other night at the movies but i was in bed when i was trying to sleep so it was hell trying to get to sleep i finally you know got a few hours but anyway um what's going on with the light i don't know it's just gonna be weird from now on i guess um so anyway i'm eating more potassium filled foods which i just loaded up with that and I'm doing my best with that. But anyway, I've decided to take calcium supplements and uh, I took it last night for the first time and I took it this morning. So I have to take it twice a day and this might be the placebo effect or something. I don't know, but I think maybe things are starting to change a little bit, even though last night I had pretty bad body spasms. But this morning I woke up and I wasn't at nearly as tired as I normally am. Yeah, I went to bed a little early, but I didn't actually sleep for a while because the body spasm, you know, kept me up 
But um, so anyway, I hope that this is the answer. And if it is, I'm very excited because all I have to do is take a calcium pill uh, twice a day. And, and I've also started uh, drinking milk because I usually have this policy, don't drink my calories because I'm kind of trying to, you know, shape up. And I've always had that policy, don't drink your calories unless it's something special. But I have to do that now. I have to drink my calories. So I'm letting myself have um, half a glass of milk because I need the calcium and do the calcium supplements and we'll see. Uh, I want to say I want to get on here every day and log my process. I mean, my progress. Oh, I can't talk today. Um, but I know me. I probably won't. But hopefully I'll get on here occasionally and give an update because I know if if anybody out there that has that same problem and you don't know what's going on, if you've gone to a couple of different doctors like me, like right now I've gone to three, um, and you finally, you know, just fed up with it, you know, to maybe research low calcium and, and see if those symptoms are yours. I know, you know, a good chunk of them were mine and I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I checked all those boxes. So anyways, that helped me out a lot, uh, to know what direction I need to go into. So maybe it'll help you guys out. I hope so. I hope the next time I get on here, I'll be like, oh, I found the cure. This is it. I'm never going to have a body spasm again. Anyway, I just wanted to share that information if anybody uh, finds it useful. That's it.